Okay, so I'm not being dramatic, but this art supply literally scares me because um, I watched a video once where people are like, it can self-combust and you have to remove these cloths in a certain manner or you can set fire to things. So I've always been like, mm, I don't really want to try them, but I have to at some point, right? So I went into town and I grabbed myself some lovely... Um, some lovely primary colours and a white oil colour. These are so expensive. They're like £10 each. 11.50. There's this new art supply store in town and they pretty much have not too much stuff but I wanted to try oil because that seems to be what they sell in my town for some reason. Everyone I, I don't know why it's kind of more prominent than other types of paints. I bought some turpentine because I know that you have to use that to sort of water it down instead of water. Not sure yet, gonna watch some tutorials so don't come for me in the comments if that's not correct. I also bought some um, new brushes, these are watercolour brushes because I really like the Acroel. Um, I've used one of these before and I really like them so I just bought some new brushes because it was time I needed some new brushes because uh, yeah I don't really take care of things apparently I'm very um, scattered so I'm sorry I also bought this for like obvious reasons this is an eraser and here's an angry poo so I mean uh, I also got this rectangular plastic palette it was a pound so which is like I don't know a dollar or two because I wanted to use a different palette for the oils I mean, I don't know how if this is big enough. Probably not. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I just know that I wanted to try oils for a while because it's the only paint that I've never tried. So I had to. I have to. I have to. I also bought this the other day. I thought you guys would be interested in this. This is a um, giant bottle thing, and I'm going to use it for watercolors basically because it's absolutely massive. And I think this was about six euros in Spain, which is like I don't know five dollars. Pretty worth it, right? And it looks cool. So, you know, there's a plus to it. I also bought this book today because the bookshop that you see me in this clip is brand new. And um, yeah, I'm going to do something with this book on Saturday. So click the, uh, the bell notification if you want to see what I do. Don't worry, I'm not painting on this book, this brand new, beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, but I'm going to do something with it. So keep, uh, keep an eye out. So let's get uh, started. Actually, no, I'm going to watch some tutorials because I don't want to set fire to my home. See you in a minute. I don't know why I'm... <laughs> Artistic. I've done some research and I'm not too scared now. I think what I'm going to do is just use the oil colours by themselves and um, not use the turpentine because I think that's just for cleaning um, the brushes. But they also said in the video that you can use oil... Um, oil. You can use water and soap to clean your brushes. And I don't have the stuff to make the drying time a bit quicker. So I'm just going to go for it and test it out really. I have a feeling that the consistency of these will be a little bit obviously oily, but, but I feel like I could probably use them in a similar fashion that I use gouache without water. So I'm gonna test them out. Um, if you guys know any tips, let me know. But yeah, I've got this old canvas that I've had for like ages. I'm gonna use that because obviously the drying times for oil is hours and hours and hours. So I don't wanna use my sketchbook and not be able to shut it. So we're just gonna super dive right in to just using this canvas that I have and uh, let's see how we how we go with it basically. Ripped out that canvas. Okay, yeah, I mean it is what it is. This canvas is kind of old and neglected neglected. So okay, let's try it out. I'm just gonna start by pouring out these primary colours I got. I got, um, I wasn't sure what red, blue and yellow to get. So this one is just called Windsor Red. Please don't come for me in the comments if I'm doing it completely wrong because remember, I've never done this before so please have some, uh, kindness. <laughs> I probably need a much bigger palette because I was looking online and people are using big sheets of glass which is very aesthetic and pleasing but not really ideal when you have a lot of cats in the house because they will just jump up and probably spread that everywhere. I'm wondering how much to use paint wise because like usually I use a lot of more paints than this but I'm having a feeling that with oil paints a little goes a long way at least I'm hoping I've also got some refined linseed oil that I had when I was trying to make the inks I thought I needed this but I didn't so I could use a little bit of this as well I suppose 
if I need to. So I've got kind of a hard bristle brush as well because I think that is like supposed to be more useful for oil colors because of the way like the buttery consistency, buttery consistency um, of it, which I've heard is the case. So yeah, let's dive into it. I think I'm gonna prep my canvas a little bit here as well. I think I wanna use a little bit of linseed oil. I honestly don't know what I'm doing, so. I need a also a cloth to wipe the oil paints on. Apparently this can combust as well. So you gotta be really careful. I mean, I saw somebody say that they could combust, but I didn't really see anything in uh, my research that said that this can combust by itself. I think if you use it with the turpentine or something, then it can be dangerous, but let's see. Just using that lovely, disgusting <laughs> pink cloth, which looks absolutely just absolutely disgusting um yeah uh i don't know what to do i think i'm just gonna go for it i don't know if i'm doing it correctly i think i need like some medium to thin it out slightly y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here up in here so far not hating it i need one of those like Creepy things. Creepy things. That's the technical term for a palette knife, in case you didn't know. Um, of course, like, why would you? Only the most supreme artists know the technical term scrapey knife. I really want, like, more of a pinky skirt. Oh, why have I done that? I'm not sure why I did that. Oh, the buttery goodness. Apparently, oil paints are super forgiving, which is good for me because look what I just did. <laughs> If this was gouache, I would already have the ga canvas completely full, so that is a point to gouache. I'm going to change the settings of my light as well because it's super shiny. So far, not so scary. Not great though either, not great, not feeling good. <laughs> not feeling great. Um, but let's see, let's see. Not hating it, um, there's a bit of a shine from the light, but I think there's some like really nice textures going on or lack thereof I don't know I, I, I quite like the the way it's looking so far even though it's just a blue area and me blocking out some certain things in the painting I think it's looking kind of cool um, yeah not hating it which is something I always thought I would hate I, I thought I would hate using oils. But yeah, kind of enjoying it, to be honest. Kind of liking experimenting with a new medium. So I'm gonna just delve into time-lapse mode and I'll see you at the end for my thoughts. I think I'm gonna 
call it there. I definitely had some issues trying to put the white down and layer that. I don't know if anybody has any tips for that, but when I was trying to layer down the clouds, I found it really difficult. I don't know if I have to wait for it to dry a little bit, but um, yeah, I don't know how long it takes to dry <laughs> or anything, but I think that as a first attempt is pretty cool. Um, the windows I don't like so much. I wish I could go back in with a little bit more detail, but I find it quite difficult to add detail. So I don't know. I, I, I think for a first attempt at using oil colors, uh, paints, they, it's a pretty good attempt. So let me know what you guys think. If you'd like to see me use oils more, I think I'm obviously going to try and use them a bit more because I've invested in them now but um let me know what you think and uh, yes it wasn't so scary in the end but still i'm not sure if i prefer them to gouache yet i think i prefer gouache still but i have to give it a bit more of a chance don't i so okay thanks for watching guys um please like and subscribe all that jargon and uh hopefully i'll see you next time and also thank you to my patrons you guys are the bomb thank you Bye. I just set up my new ring light and I just had to show you guys because somebody loves it. Mega purring. Different settings. She really likes it. Ooh, too bright. What do you think, Mochi? <laughs> what do you think? Good girl. Alright, that's enough Mochi camera. That's enough mochi time. Oh.